Hello and welcome to what has become my little daily uh, live video about hot topics in rugby. And today let's talk about USA Rugby and where it's going. Now the reason for this is that this weekend really does feel like a pivotal weekend for uh, Rugby USA. Um, and it's not because the men's team are playing or the sevens or any other teams. Uh, it's about what's happening off the pitch. This weekend is the weekend is the um, American uh, Rugby Congress. Now, the Rugby Congress are the people that the Rugby Board um, answer to. And uh, I've tagged a couple of people in the message. Um, Tony Riddle, um, who is a um, ex uh, USA Eagles guy who has been uh, posting about this. So check out his uh, blog on this. And I've also tagged in here uh, the Rugby Wrap-Up, who have a good article looking at pro rugby and the uh, the um, uh, what, what's the contract that they had with USA Rugby. So look up those two guys, check out their blogs. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, look below. Uh, the link, Their links are in the notes. So what is happening? Uh, this weekend, the USA Rugby Congress is meeting and they will be questioning uh, the board. I think there's also a couple of board places up for question. Nigel Melville left basically three pieces um, over to the new uh, CEO Pro Rugby, which I think we all are aware of and has uh, pretty much, and looks like it is collapsing at the moment, um, even though Doug does still suggest he's going to have a season this season. Uh, and I say Rugby Wrap-Up have brought up the contract and pulled it to pieces and saying why, where, how, how it's not suitable and not fit for purpose. And so there's a lot of questioning there. Um, or the, we, people are asking the, the Congress to question the board, did they read this and did they say yes or no to this contract? So we'll see where that goes. The other two pieces that are there are RIM, um, which is about investing and making money out of rugby to help fund USA Rugby. Uh, that doesn't seem to be making much progress or getting anywhere. Um, and also the Rugby Channel, which is a TV channel for rugby. The problem with this is that it's behind a paywall and so um, is that really the way you want to be going with um, rugby uh, in, in the USA when you're trying to sort of gain new viewers and people? So there's three pieces there that all are up for questions and people are asking serious questions about. And it does seem that things have been coming to a head for this weekend. So whilst it might not be the flash and exciting stuff that happens on the pitch that we all like watching, it does feel that this will be a pivotal weekend, as I say. One guy uh, who I know is heading down to Austin for this couldn't get a direct flight. So he ended up catching a train, uh, two, uh, two flights, uh, hiring a car, having a taxi, um, and yeah, basically doing everything he could to get there. Um, this does not feel like a normal Congress weekend uh, where they rubber stamp stuff and we really, as most rugby fans, are not kind of that interested. There could be some seismic changes and some pretty tough questioning going on. So that's just to bring it up to date. Um, as I say, check out um, Tony Ridnell, uh, his, uh, his blog. He's got a lot of stuff on there about the actual questions and um, that people should be asking. asking. As I say, he's an ex-USA Eagle um, and he's also um, an ex-businessman as well. So he kind of knows both the playing side and the business side. Um, and also check out the rugby wrap-up. They've been pretty close to pro rugby and have had interviews with Doug. Um, but as I say, they've also got access to the pro rugby contract with the USA Rugby. So those are two things that you need to have a quick chat, just a quick look at. So that brings up to date with what's happening off the field in you with USA Rugby. Well, let's hope that uh, we can see some positive signs and some growth because the potential there is uh, unreal. Thanks, guys, and check all back in tomorrow where I'll be talking about more stuff. And also, if you would like to help support me doing this uh, rugby stuff and help feed my rugby habit, then please do become a patron and for donate a monthly amount towards that. Cheers, guys. See you tomorrow.